Hello, and good evening. It's time for another ITSL game. This is my... tenth game for this season. And it's against Juan Amensa. Um, the, uh... The very eagle-eyed of you may have noticed that this game has already been reported in chat as a win for me. Uh, that was, in fact, a mistake. Uh, Juan accidentally reported it, and so it hasn't, in fact, been played yet. It's being played now. Uh, so we'll see if I manage to live up to his expectations and, in fact, win the game. <clears throat> and that's also the reason why the ITSL sheet at the moment says I have eight wins and two losses, whereas um, it's actually seven wins and two losses. At the moment. Let's see if he joins the game. We've never played before. <clears throat> Not a bad starting hand. It's actually pretty much great. Like, I get lots of ops. Get both decal and d-style. Can't really complain about anything. Olympic Games could be a better card, but that's pretty much it. Cambridge 5 as well, I guess. Oh, here's one now. Okay. So, it's really late here. Um... I've, well, it's not that late, it's just that I'm really tired. I've been uh, up late uh, playing uh, Elbridge Horror and drinking drinks last night. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really have a good headline. I suppose Olympic Games. I was just watching a stream with Zimovit where he talked about how he hates Olympic Games more than any other card. And I kind of get what he means. Right, dumping Asia in the headline. I get a couple of points. That signals a weak hand, because you would normally at least try to fight for Asia, right? Try and kill Iran, see what happens. Maybe uh, another scoring card that you do want to fight for. Alright, fail Iran coup. <clears throat> so yeah, <clears throat> played Eldritch Horror last night. First time in many, many years. It's not the best game in the world, but I have to say I had a surprisingly good time. Uh, might have been because of the drinks and the good company as well. Uh, but it is quite entertaining. Alright. Another coup. And then I just counter coup that because I have all the access cards. Ooh! Alright. That sucks. Should run into Malaysia. He could have Vietnam revolts. But then I don't think he would have had. He would have dumped Asia in the headline with Vietnam revolts. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, Eldritch can be fun if you have the right mindset, I think. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for those of you who don't appreciate randomness. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Right, so as special CNS, okay. Don't really wanna I don't really want a space. Oh no no no, sorry. I mean, I could could space Cambridge just to get there before him. It's a one, one in one to three as well, and Lebanon is is tempting. And I need to get to France as well. Now I have to forget about the space race. Oh, no, he's going to play uh, Suez, isn't he? Yeah. Shouldn't have gone into France. It's got special. CNS and SOS with you in intervention. <clears throat> no, 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 sorry, I have to. Oh, I have to space something. Of course, spacing decal. <clears throat> then I might as well have done it. That, yeah, I should have done that before he did. Um, not in a hurry to do it now, though, but I might as well. Yeah, that was silly of me. Hmm. You want me to play this so you can then event Suez? I, I kind of have to though, because otherwise he will just take France. So that'll be like an empty round. I might have taken two out of the UK there if I were him, because that doesn't strictly need to be replaced. Marshall is nice here. Ah, uh, blockade to uh, bring. Oh yeah. 
I get to control that. That's nice. Defectors is nice as well. But I think Marshall is what I need because it protects against... Um, well, protects against that, for starters. And a goal. But if he has Europe now, then he can get away with it. But then I get the coup. Yeah, that does actually hurt quite a lot, because I just realised I have no ops. Fuck. Hmm. Does he know I have no ops? Yeah, well... Could have three ops, but... Maybe he has them, and he... figures that there aren't many left for me. All the four ops have gone... Yeah. Well, I mean, Truman is still a, a thing. I don't think he has it, because then he wouldn't do that, but... <clears throat> and I could steal the coup, but losing Italy is, is obviously really, really bad. I think I'm I'm gonna fight and at least force him to play some cards. But I'm I mean there's plenty of red three ops left. Goal Warsaw <coughs> No, not Warsaw, Comic Con. Yeah. Or Duck. Well that gives me VPs at least. <coughs> But I do kind of want to keep poking it. If he has Europe scoring, then he has to play it at some point. If I can, if I can keep it uh, open until the end of the turn, then <clears throat> of course I have to play blockade. I might get the China card for the for the effort. All right, so no more poking. Just that. Truman. No, Europe scoring, I think. Or he might just have seized the opportunity to take Italy. Might not necessarily have either of those two. <clears throat> I think maybe... Hmm. Yeah, this is not great. I'm thinking that I want to 
save two VPs by not eventing Arab-Israeli war. But then I have to play Vietnam, but then I have to play Vietnam in my last action round. And then space, Arab-Israeli. Maybe that's not worth it. Maybe I just need the ops. Ah. Uh. Things aren't really going great right now. I don't I don't feel <clears throat> good first turn. Although I feel like I should have uh I should have been able to get more things done with all those ops. It feels like I haven't really done anything for a long time now. I did get the China card. It's Truman. So he did have Truman. Yeah. When you, if you control it, you you're fine to go. Actually, let's not. Let's do that. Um. Yeah. Okay. The one up. So. I have the China card, so I can just put two in Thailand. I'd be okay with that. Let's see, headlines, decal next turn. I feel like I want to go to Angola and then follow up with the... Yeah. Although, I also want to go Burma and get first to India. Yeah, let's not do Africa just yet. It's not really a threat, because I have to... Right, so he gets... We haven't actually seen any scoring cards yet. No, we did see Asia there. Early, yeah. So he has the Middle East. And he has... No, we've seen CIA. Comic-Con, so Middle East and Comic-Con, and NORAD. He went special, didn't he? Yeah. And Indo-Pakistani War as well. Middle East, Comic Con, NORAD, in the Pakistani War. It's a fairly playable hand. Hmm. All right, he's not expecting this. My hand is really red, though. But I do have you in intervention. Yeah, I think I have to. Got five year plan as well. Yeah. Mm. Influence. Really? 
Sure, I mean, with the Middle East, you don't really have to worry about the coup so much. He's got Indo-Pakistani war, so I have to take both of them if I'm taking anything. Or at least I have to, like... Um, I kind of want to trigger De Gaulle. What happens if I... Oh no, that gives him access to Algeria. I have to go one in there. No, it's not going to work. I could actually play the China card here. Got enough red that I don't really want to play. play everything. Double space is a possibility. Yeah, there we go. It's 5 plus. Didn't work. I'm surprised. So, am I triggering the goal then? Yes, I think I am. So then I'm using your intervention on the Korean War, because it's historically correct. Hang on, there's still a coup option. He knows I've got the Korean War. I could get Asia Dom if I'm... Let's wait with... Um, oh, but I do... I do want the coup now, especially when he got Milops. So I'm wondering if he might have Asia. Is it worth... Milops to um, set that up. I think it might be. Although, would he have scored, would he have just scored Asia if he had it before I, no, maybe not, I don't know. Is it worth waiting for Indo-Pakistani war? I would not think so, I would have scored it, because he's not getting Dom anyway. So he probably doesn't have it, or he might have been greedy. That was the coup. Panama, right, it's a big strong coup. Um, I guess now is the time to score Europe. So what's he holding? Norad. My new oh, these three. NORAD and five year plan. Spacing NORAD. Fails, that means I can space. Might as well space the Korean War, right? There we go, might be able to double space. Or I will definitely be able to double space. Just need to make sure I protect South Korea, maybe India. And then maybe now is the time to spread into Angola and say, uh, Hmm. What? You're going for Europe, Dom? What's this about? I have no idea. Alright, let's trigger this, and then I can take 
uh, Algeria and Gibraltar's back. I don't know if I actually need to take and call and say over the... I mean, you should, should do it at some point. But it just feels like you're giving him a coup target. An easy coup target. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's already AR6, right. Uh, yeah, I should have spaced again. Now I've got a... No, it's a... No, but I want to overprotect, so let's do this is a four up now. I don't really want to hold all of this though. Let's let's play this with Fidel. And then overprotect this. Maybe France. Maybe one more in France would have been better. Okay, this could be quite good. We've got South America coming, Southeast Asia. I should be able to get quite a few points from there. I get one small step, which is nice. I've got Dark, so that means I can headline missile Envy to steal the coup. Um... Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not technically, technically safe. No, it is safe. It is safe. Wow. Just like that, in the headline. That should mean he has a bad hand. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good cut, good coup roll, and that means I can voice him out of Costa Rica and Vietnam with this. It's not the best voice ever, but it does give me an opportunity to get eight points out of Southeast Asia, which is quite rare for me. I'm usually the one who gets a lot of, of negative points for Southeast Asia because I tend to sort of underestimate it. Um, and it's absolutely horrible when you know there's like an eight VP swing coming your way. Or your opponent's way, rather. Muslim could have been pretty painful there as well. I could have been kicked out of Egypt and Libya. I'm not sure if that would have been... I think it would have been better for him just to play the ops there, but still. All right. Breaking Algeria, okay, interesting. So he wants the mill ops for, yeah. Um, that means I need to, oh, but then I might as well, I can voice him out of that later when he walks in there. Or I can do puppets now. Yeah, let's do puppets. Yeah, because I've got South America coming as well. Wow, um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to um, event arms race. I should. Because it's three points, but I probably should count my... I want two more, at least, for Southeast Asia. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ops. 
Yeah, that works. I can't play all of this. Might even hold voice. That feels weird. Um, but then if I do that, I've got nine ops. And I suppose I could forfeit one op in in um Southeast Asia. Or I might not have to worry about that after all. Um, okay, I definitely need to spread into here. Then I'm I'm wondering now if I should just be happy with the four VPs from that and then event arms race and then go Southeast Asia. Ah oh, did not expect that. Really didn't. Okay, well that's that then. There we go. Now he knows about Southeast Asia as well. This turn did not uh, end up as amazing as it could have. Although, that was actually the first thing I did play puppets, so I did play kind of optimally. Then I got stopped. Okay, let's um, let's trigger this. Okay, so, with voice, now he kind of saved himself from voice in Southern Africa. Maybe I should have used it before. I think it's kind of, still kind of powerful if I play like this. Maybe, maybe that's what I should have done earlier when he when he played Cambridge. 
picked him out of Argentina right away. But I feel like I still, I wouldn't have wanted to go into Uruguay and didn't then invite a coup there. Maybe. Maybe with three influence it would have been fine. And he has no coup target. It's beautiful. And I will get three VPs from arms race. That's 16 points. It's a lot. Wow. Hang on, what? Oh, did he accidentally play the China card? Because now he was he did one of those sort of 50-50 suicide gambles with a five-year plan. And it paid off. Uh, Nixon... Uh, special hasn't triggered. Where is NATO? NATO is coming. Yeah. Could hold that for a bit. Uh, I've got the space as well. Could be two points. Got plenty of uh, eager uh, astronauts. I want to go up into space. Um, Alright, should we just go for the two VPs then? I'm hesitant to do that if I end up like um, not winning if he has Africa scoring, for example. So I think probably this is a better headline. Because then maybe he will let me coup. I said I had plenty of eager astronauts. I don't think I do really. Che is playable. Um, Villebrand and Portuguese are fine. I mean, Villebrand isn't fine if I'm trying to win, but. Uh, but if I'm not trying to win, he's okay. Cultural is pretty bad as well. So, yeah, I've, I've, I've got I've got some cards I can't space. He did not give me the coup. Sends Africa scoring. Um, coming up. That's five EPs. Well, if he's got that, I don't have to take these now, because I could space, and then I've got a guarantee to a VPs right here. What do I want to space? Or do I want to try and take Pakistan? Kind of have, have Asia Dom anyway. Um... Could just be that he didn't have a better coup, coup card and he didn't want to... Um, I think cultural might be my space candidate now. Damn it. All right, I'll get one more shot, perhaps. If I wasn't so, so close to winning, I could have done one of those sort of play the China card, then play cultural, then play Missouri or whatever. All right, trying to stop me, and he does. Alright, so I'm not winning this turn, unless he plays NATO. Um, let's take over some countries. Let's use share.
If he has Africa scoring, I think he plays it now, right? No? That's a pretty strong coup, I'll give you that. Right, let's trigger this then, and let's give me a coup. Mm-hmm. That's fine. You can have Lao. Or can you, though? Because Brush is coming up, isn't it? Right. If he doesn't score Africa now, then he doesn't have it. Although... You might want to take back North Korea first. I guess I have to give him a point. <laughs> wow, that's pretty brave, because that could be, uh, well, I mean, he's, he's not presence-less, but he has no battlegrounds. I can easily flip that. But I'm not going to do that now. I feel like I uh, want to overprotect Libya just to be super safe. Go Mexico. Um, okay. Oh, I, oh, I should have, uh, should have held on to NATO. I can still space though. We've seen, we've seen um, the lone gunman. He invented it, right? No, he played it for ops. Yeah. So, hmm. And OPEC is going to be two points for him. Is there any way for me to get four points? Not really. 
but the reason I shouldn't have held on to um, to uh, a, a special is because I would have had to trigger NATO, and then I would have I would have had to play next in anyway, so it wouldn't have made a difference. But I could get new cards. I could get like Kitchen maybe if I do Kennedy. So I'm gonna do Kennedy. Okay, let's hope I get you an intervention. No, oh, it's gone. All right, that's three VPs for him. Um, yeah. Think about maybe discarding defectors as well. Alliance, beautiful, that's what I needed. It's quite a big chance to draw that, actually. That should be GG. I really don't see how he can... Oh, he's going to get uh, three points uh, in my next turn, isn't he? This goes to space. So then I might have to use OAS to take Argentina, perhaps. Then Nixon is two, so then I get seven. Yeah, that should do it. Might even end space. Yeah. That should do it. And I just played OPIC, so he's not killing that. There are no more scoring cards. Hmm, you might get the point. Damn it! Okay. And then we'll be, it will be down to two. Yeah, to ten. So uh, The maximum I can get from Alliance is seven. And then two for that. Uh, that's one, two few. Crap! No, oh, hang on. Seven, nine. Yeah, that's that's it. Damn it. Maybe he has kitchen. In any case, let's do this. Could have ABM as well. Let's go. Doesn't really matter, but let's go. What else gives me VPs in the mid-war? I think... Hmm. Alright. Alright. Okay, but then I might as well just take... Actually, let's take Uruguay, get Dom if nothing else, and do a real line, perhaps. Not that I really have time for that. Okay, I'm not going to do a coup. I'm going to wait and see if I can get away with cooing in AR7, so I get the two millops from that. I think he's going to he's going to notice, uh, but we can give it a try.
No! Fuck! Ah, oh, alright. That goes my dreams. Right down the toilet. Hmm. Also, now that I use Formosa, I'll have to go with goes to Par. It sucks. Or Nixon. Might be worth keeping Nixon in the deck for now. If I'm not winning anyway, I mean. Actually, he doesn't have Europe scoring now. I don't have to worry about that for now. Um, let's play Alliance. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I feel like I want to force him to counter coup me, and I need my milops. So why not just coup here? Damn it! Well, at least he failed too. Well, I was more likely to succeed. That's the problem with uh, having seen all my good cards. There's not that many of them left. How I learned is well, it's a way for me to get a lot of VPs very fast. I'm going to keep that in the deck, I think. Not the best hour man ever. And because he he brought back Red Scare, I'm going to space this now. I don't want to be sitting with that next turn. South America again. Lovely. Kitchen. ABM defectors. Yeah, alright. Another good hand. Um, I've got ABM, so... I'm going to... Oh, hang on. No, we've seen... Yeah, we have. Let's, um... I mean, all I need to do is play South America and then... 
Let's go with defectors. And then kitchen. Or Nixon. Got to uh, even out Europe though. All right, no Chile for you. So what do I know he has? Colonial, how I learned. What's the other things I just drew? Camp David. Red Scare, obviously. I don't think there were any other scorings left. He basically, he needs Europe or Africa scoring if he wants to. Um, keep the game alive. If I were him now, I think I would coup uh, Venezuela, or, yeah. Right, that works. That makes South America a lot less interesting. Like an AVM. Argentina. There we go. Now, he plays Europe, if he has it. Or Africa. Which makes me think he doesn't. Which makes me think it's GG. Okay, let's do the coup war. He's got South African unrest as well. I think. Oh, okay. So I'm going to assume he doesn't have Europe. 
That makes me think he's got central, but that's fine. Oh! <laughs> well, I was going to win by Kitchen because it's more fun, but now I'm just going to win by Nixon instead. Okay, there we go. So... All right, um, my winning streak continues. Um, so, uh, that was that. And I think that's my last game before Christmas, probably. Um, we'll see. But uh, in any case, uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, see you next time.